So what are soft flies? They're small wasps. They're not true flies as their name may suggest. Maybe their names come from the fact that they don't sting, and most people believe that all wasps do have stingers. What is so cool about them? Let's talk about their life cycle briefly. How do soft flies develop? Eggs are deposited inside the plants using their salt-like ovipositors to cut into the plant's tissue and create an egg pocket. The larva then develops in the egg for seven days. It then goes through four larva stages before development is complete. The larva hatch from the egg, then burrow into the plant and seals themselves in for the winter. It remains a larva during the winter, then reemerges from the plant the next spring, still in the larval stage. It later becomes a pupae in June or July and lives as a pupae for 20 to 30 days the next season. Then the wasp forms a cocoon, usually on the bottom of the leaf, and then will reemerge as an adult and live for only 7 to 10 days. The timing of the life cycle depends on the species, but sawflies spend most of their life as a larva. This stage can last from months to years. This is the cool part. Larvae emerge all together at the same time. During this stage, they are communal and are often mistaken for caterpillars. Once they emerge, they can be very alarming because they all come out at the same time and they move together in order to survive. Some have hypothesized that their group movements are to make them seem larger so that predators do not eat them. When sawflies are in their large larval stage, they hang out in clusters and even perform synchronized movements. They're cool, but also disgusting. Some can hang onto trees and make wiggly movements reminiscent of an anemone. Some can form overlap lines on the ground so that they wriggle together as one giant larva made of tinier larvae. By hanging out in the groups, it reduces the chances of them being killed. Some species of sawfly larvae are also an, an, have an, a distasteful irritating liquid in order to avoid being food. In this stage, they are herbivorous, eating plant foliage in large groups. It is important not to forget that sawfly larvae are also pests. Larvae need a host plant stem to develop, and wheat is their main source of housing and food. Other grains and grasses, like oats and barley, have disadvantages, so they mostly nest in wheat. This is really bad for wheat farmers because it reduces their yield and quality of their yield. This also can be devastating to trees. In just a few days' time, they can destroy crops and trees. As tiny larvae, sawflies come together to ruin plants and crops and cause alarm for farmers or anyone else who might find them disgusting.